Hi friends, this is Gokul from Gokul Tech and today in this video we are going to see powerful automation add-ins or tools available in Excel. If you are using the Excel for daily life, there is a certain add-ins available in Excel which reduce our effort and help us to do our work in short span of time. I am going to pick top 3 or the most 3 whichever is useful. Let's start with the today's session. So in our home tab, you can see there is an option called add-ins, right? Double click over here and you will get lot of add-ins available over here. And this suggestion is based on the popularity whichever it's available in now. If you want still more to be known, you can click on this get add-ins option. And you can see there is a two option available, my add-ins and store. So my add-ins will be visible when you have already added some add-ins to your Excel page. But now we don't have anything, so that's why it is showing empty. I'm going on store and the category wise add ins also available. And now we can see the Wikipedia is the first one which I suggest. Just click on add, click on continue. If you are preparing any report, so you want to search something relevant to that, surfing any relevant document to that, I can check. Let's check about Microsoft. So you will get the de detailed data about Microsoft and even not only the text, even the in, uh, images or info box, according to the selection, it will give you the proper data. So now if I want to insert this image, click here and copy image, right click and paste format. This image will get automatically pasted over here. Now I want to go back to the data over UR history. After this, I want to paste something about the Microsoft Corporation, right? I can copy this and paste it below to this particular image. My complete uh, detail about the Microsoft is already inserted in this particular Excel sheet. So this is how our my, uh, Wikipedia add-in is going to help in our daily life. It will be very useful if you are a research scholar or if you are doing any uh, school activities or college activities for your presentation. Second option for is QR code generator, right? You can see QR for office is there in the beginning itself. Just click on that. And you can see in the towards your right, you will get your proper QR image. And if you want, you can uh, change the color of your image, how you want to customize. So I'm selecting our, I'm, I'm leaving it in the default. If you want, you can select any color you want, green. And you can make the customization. And here there is an option to insert the link. So I'm going to give our channel link. Which is my youtube.com forward slash google underscore tick so this is our channel link it will get automatically inserted and to make this as an image you will get an option over here in the bottom where it allows you to say you can right click on the preview image and copy paste paste save as uh, or save as picture and insert it manually the idea behind is either you can right click and copy and paste it normally as it is or else what we can do is we can right click and save images and select location to save your images in the desktop or wherever you want. I am renaming it as QR and then we can go to our insert tab pictures from this device and from from desktop we can able to get the QR inserted over here. So this is the both way we can able to insert our QR code in our page. We have discussed two things. One is about Wikipedia add-in and the other is about QR code add-in. The other one very important which I, I trust and I use daily is about calendar add-in. So why this calendar add-in is helpful is because if you are working with the da data entry or like any any day-to-day -day activities you want to Enter, enter in your excel sheet right this particular adding will help you to get the data so how it will be useful is 
Just move the calendar wherever you want and then this will be fixed it over here. Select the cell where you want to give the data and click on the date. That particular date will get entered into that particular cell. So here I am click, clicking on this particular cell and hitting the enter. And if you see the data which I have clicked this 3rd of uh, November is automatically entered over here. And now if you are going with a multiple columns, you don't want to uh, see this particular calendar to be moved. What you can do is you can put this calendar into this space and freeze the pane for these three columns like view and freeze panes, freeze first column. So this will not get freeze and, and you can select the data according to your wish. So these three important add-ins are very very useful in our daily life. I hope I have given the clear cut information about these three add-ins. If you have any doubt or if you are using any different add-ins in your data life, please don't forget to comment it on our comment box. Hope you have understood this concept clearly. If you have any doubt, please reach out to us. We will be happy to assist you in all the time. Thanks for watching. We will see, see you in the next exciting video. Until then, bye from us. Thank you. Have a great day.